your what's your assessment now after that? Yeah, what I just said, like mm, it's time that we uh, that we score, that we win, that we don't get uh, a bad goal against, and um, such a shame. I said to them, we're getting closer and closer and closer. If you see how the players have done that haven't played yet, um, how they're on the pitch then you can see that everybody's so concentrated and the training uh, uh, training sessions they really even learn by playing the opposition um, they're really ready to do it uh, it's just just a shame that you not get rewarded because i think that we again played better than the last time uh, apart from the first first five ten minutes uh, we started really well but then we gave it away and we were running after them but then we picked up again and in the second half we could press them even better than uh, Denmark uh, and we should have scored eh? we sco should have scored three goals and they have not had one chance I think am I correct I think maybe half a, one chance Chance back post maybe they yeah, scored. yeah 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 that's yeah. right yeah. so one chance but we had three open chances yeah. so and and we are ranked 32 and they are ranked 17 in the world and they have won their group and they go to the euros so we're so close. So I say to the girl, it's, it's just this, but that's a very difficult part to step up. So we're going to discuss everything, evaluate individual programs, um, having good contact with all the clubs and, and see where we can get this little edge further. Uh, if we start to score, then we're there. When you look at it on paper, both Denmark and now Belgium like comfortably won their European qualifying groups yeah. and they're into the European Championships as you say. Do you think that we surprised them a little bit? I think so, both. Uh, b both coaches um, expressed that also to us. Um, yeah, don't forget that um, Belgium won 4-0 from Switzerland um, and Switzerland won their group last time. So this is a very, very good site and Denmark is one of the top sides of the Euro, you will see, uh, with, with world-class players. Um, but again, I'm, I'm most of all proud of the players who were thrown into the depth, took the chance and did a really, really good job. Surely that's one of the most encouraging things. If a couple of girls have made their debuts over the two games and like they didn't look out of place. Like Claire Walsh, Women's National League player, or yeah. female, you know, it didn't look out of place at all. Yeah, and, and although we have only a few moments, uh, I'm so proud of my, my staff, of ev how hard everybody works to get those players also to a higher level. And it shows that, that yeah, the program that we have is just good. It, it's, the facilities are great, the support that we have is fantastic. And with each other we can put quality in, um, together with the players, uh, because otherwise you don't show this. Last campaign you kind of came in kind of as the campaign started, you know, but this time you probably have a few more options now and you obviously you're developing more options in players. Do you think you have more of a squad and more options now? Yeah, I think they make life difficult for this <laughs> coach, <laughs> which is good, which is good. We're going to see him. I'm, I was very, very pleased with a few of the, of the new, let's say, new starters. Can I say it like mm -hmm. that? I don't, yeah, yeah. with all respect. Yeah. I suppose, like just to sum up, like what what do you take? I know you look at the video analysis and you'll assess and stuff like that. But what are the kind of key points you take from the two games? We need to score. I think that is it. We need to score, and that is the most difficult last part. But it is that last part because the rest is it will develop if we start to score, um, and we can have more composure and we can have more moments that we get the ball through. But that's the same for the opponent. Um, that will grow when we start to score, I'm, I'm absolutely sure. And all the work that we've put in, all the individual video analysis to send it to them, get feedback, seeing the next game, getting again feedback, uh, um, I think it's not for nothing. You can see that every single player in this group grows. That goal, it, it's not a question of having like just one goal scored. We're getting into opportunities, we're getting into spaces to create those chances. It's just that bit of luck maybe just to fall. Yeah, but you have to force the luck. Sure. And luck will come on our side, promise. I promise. I also told them, luck will turn to our, our side, promise. If we keep going every game better, that means that we're getting closer to, to uh, um, uh, change games, to win games, um, and, and, and to, uh, to gain the points that we, uh, that we need.